Buenas, Zen Hafade, Todo Samju. This is an urgent message to all the voters of Guam. I would like to ask for your kindness in terms of writing in Jonathan Diaz for governor and lieutenant governor on the Republican side. Please ensure that you write Jonathan Diaz on both lines of the governor and lieutenant governor position. I have been adamant in terms of stating for the record that I will appoint a lieutenant governor after the primary elections. If you leave any of those lines blank, they will not count this ballot. Therefore, your votes may not even be counted if you don't have both lines filled out. So please, my dear people of Guam, I'm asking you, my dear voters, to please withhold your vote this time around. Make sure that you do everything in your part to move this island forward. I'm doing my part because I believe that Guam deserves better. Guam deserves better after all of these years of denial of our basic human right of political self-determination. And because of the fact that I am now representing all of the people of Guam who are disenfranchised, people who are looking at these elections and really saying to themselves, well, what's this candidate going to do for Guam? I am going to finally put an end to this discriminatory actions by U.S. Congress. I am making sure that people are aware that even the nominating petitions that I had recently made known to all of you is that this nominating petition only has one line that accommodates the names of governor backslash lieutenant governor. On the ballot itself, you have two separate lines. See, that is wrong. And that's an interpretation and a discriminatory actions upon U.S. Congress to which they are fulfilling with the Guam Election Commission. Therefore, I'm asking all Democrats, independents, and Republicans to please stay on the Republican side and write in Jonathan Diaz on both lines of governor and lieutenant governor, and I will appoint the lieutenant governor position after the primary elections. We have only one official election on Guam that's counted, and that is the November general election ballots. Therefore, I'm going to ask you and, I'm, and make sure that we really get this across and share this with as many people as possible on social media. And remember, we are part of the Chamorro legacy. We are part of a Chamorro self-determination that has not yet been met. And if we require more funding from the U.S. federal government, our administering power, then I can take this all the way to the U.S. District Court and file an injunction permanently withholding the election process until Congress further defines who we are as individuals on this island. So make sure, please, Guam, that you sign We Defy Guam Politics by writing in Jonathan Diaz on both lines, okay? I wouldn't do this without you. I wouldn't do this without making sure that the people's quality of life is enhanced from this day forward. And we move Guam forward together, okay? Please stay on the Republican side. Shade in that oval and write in Jonathan Diaz on both line of governor and lieutenant governor. And I will appoint, I promise you, that I will appoint that person to the position of lieutenant governor because we are moving Guam forward, okay? Please share, okay? Love you.